if you want to know how you can make a Tower of Hell game within like a few episodes, make sure to watch this video all the way to the end and the other parts all the way to the end to understand how you can make a beautiful Tower of Hell game for your own creation. Yo guys, what is up? In this video, I'm going to be making a little Tower of Hell game. I'm going to split this video up in like three parts or two. We'll see. Um, so we're going to be starting off already by saying that 80% of my subscribers, or I mean 80% of my viewers, have not been subscribed to me yet. So it would really appreciate it if you subscribe to me. If you're kind of a member, no one has a member yet, but that doesn't matter. I really enjoy the support of you guys. I'm gonna click the blue jo join button down below. It is. It does cost money though, but the subscribe button doesn't cost money. Um, to start off, we're gonna be making a time GUI. So first of all, a replicated storage. Insert a remote event with kill all players. Kill all player. Then go to Star Trek GUI. Insert a screen GUI. Rename it to timer. Insert a text label. And anchor point 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Position 0 0.5 comma 0 comma 0 0.1 comma 0. Background transparency 1. I'm gonna do rich text. I'm gonna do Gotham black because I love it. And all you need is a local script. So you need to type wall true do. Local timer is equals to script apparent. Local minutes is 0. Local seconds is equals to 60. So if you want eight minutes, change this to seven, because this is already a minute. Get the point? Well, we're gonna do sixty seconds only. Repeat, and then if seconds is um, below zero, then minutes is equal to minutes minus one. We're gonna take away one minute, and then the seconds would be fifty-nine. If that's not the case, the seconds is going to be seconds minus one, and then. If seconds is below nine, then timer.txt equals to two string minutes. Mm, dot dot. Um, like those thingies, colon, zero. Dot dot, two string. Seconds, like that. And then else timer.txt is going to be two string minutes. Dot dot, and only a colon. Dot dot, two string seconds. And that's it. And then we're gonna do that every second, and we're gonna do that until the minutes is um, zero, and seconds is also going to be zero. Then you can do if minutes is below zero, and seconds is also below zero, then Game that game and replicate a storage dot kill all player colon fire server. Um, well, you can do local player is going to be um, wait for i comma v in pairs game dot players dot um colon get children do like that for i yep get it and then we will fire it up. But now we can fire it with V. Oh, and we're gonna do minutes is equal to zero and um, seconds is equal to sixty. Let's test this out. Play here. Okay, going well. Let's speed this up. Alrighty. Still waiting. Um, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. And as you can see, it loops again. But now we didn't do anything in our um kill all player, so we can do game dot players, uh, game dot replicate storage dot kill all player dot on server event colon connect function player and then um, if player then player colon load character like that 
and then wait one print reset it game let's test this out again but this time I'm gonna make it like 10 seconds so it is um, better Three, two, one, boom, bomb, and we get resetted. So that is our timer completely done. Circle seconds, 60. Just like that. So that was our timer. Let's begin with the. Well, we can start off the shop. Yeah, why not? So, in order to do that, make a new script. Name this one the kill handler. Make this one your leader stats. Game dot players. A player added. Colon connect function player. Uh, local ls is equals to instance. Instance that new folder into our player. ls that name leader stats. Mm, local points is going to be instance that new number value into the leader stats points that value zero points that name points I'm gonna wait for a second to cheat the guess up let's test as you can see we have a points leaderboard So in order to make a um, shop, we're going to duplicate your timer, make this shop, delete the text label, insert a frame, and a text button. Make the text button size 50 by 50. I'm going to make it a bit greenish. I'm going to put it right down um, like there. I'm actually going to put it, yeah, that should be good. I'm gonna name this the shop and of course it doesn't look as good as in um, Tarpel, but that's logical you can do a local script in here script dot parent dot text button dot mouse button one click colon connect function of nothing script dot parent dot frame is equals to script dot par um, dot visible is equal to not script dot parent dot frame dot visible like that so if you want to test that out, play here. Yep, and it goes away. Um, for shop, the frame is going to be another anchor point of 0 0.5 comma 0 0.5. Position, perfection, inside of the middle. Like that. I'm going to make the size 350 by 400. I meant... The other way around, like that. Okay, I'm gonna be making it purple. I'm gonna add in one more text button for our gravity coil, and it's not supposed to look good because it's um this is not terrible, and I'm too lazy to customize it. So over here, mm, you can do a local script, script dot parent. The mouse button one click, colon connect, function, and we're gonna no function. Then you can do local debounce is equals to true. If debounce equals, equals to true, then debounce equals to false. Game the replicate storage dot shop event colon fire server mm, and wait five debounce equals to true. Now you can go into replicate a storage, duplicate a remote event, and name it shop event. Go back into your leader stats. Mm, game dot replicated storage dot shop event dot on server event colon connect function nothing. Mm, yep, nothing. Then you can do a player. Is that a yep? That is value. Yep, that is um, if player the leader stats. That points that value is above 50, well, above 49, then um, player.leader stats.points 
that value is equals to player that lead for stats that points that value minus 50 uh, gain the replicated storage dot gravity coil colon clone the parent is equals to player the backpack just like that so I'm gonna search a gravity coil over here and instead of this saying gravity coil I'm gonna do gravity coil 50 points this is a good gravity coil and insert it into replicator storage frame off play here alright shop as you can see we cannot buy it Let me give myself some points Okay, 52 points. Boom. And I think because of the D bounds, I inserted and the D bounds is annoying. So I am going to put the D bounds away by doing this. Now your D bounds is completely gone. Play here. Game dot players. Dot newbie dot be dev. Our leader stats dot point dot value is going to be 50. I'm going to do 70 for sure. And then boom. And we just got a gravity coil. So that is a way to make a gravity coil. So uh, yeah. So if you did if you did enjoy this video, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I will see you all in part two of the Tower of Health series. And I'm going to split this up in three parts or four. So if you enjoyed, do not forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace out. Goodbye.